Today we're going to make these honeycomb style 3D printed coasters using wood PLA. I recently picked up a spool of this wood 3D printer filament made by Hatchbox. Now, this stuff isn't entirely wood, it's actually a composite material made of a mixture of wood fibers and PLA, which is a common plastic used in 3D printing. One of the really cool things about this wood filament is that it allows you to create complex shapes and objects that have a wooden texture and feel, but that you wouldn't really be able to create easily with traditional woodworking tools and techniques. And that is exactly the characteristic that I wanted to take advantage of in designing these coasters. So with that, let's get to it. I designed the coasters in Fusion 360 and started by creating one honeycomb unit. I wasn't worried about the absolute size at this point, as I would just scale everything later on. I used a combination of the mirror, pattern, and copy tools to turn the single unit into the full honeycomb shape. Once I had the full shape, I scaled the coaster to its final size and made sure that the honeycomb walls were thick enough to be 3D printed. I also set the coaster thickness to a quarter of an inch. The stand is designed around these zigzag rails that fit into the coaster's concave edges. I offset the rails 15 thousandths of an inch out from the coasters, but as you'll see later on, this made for a tighter fit than I would have liked. I later updated the model to double the space between the stand and the coasters, and this change is reflected in the STL file available on my website. I've been told that wood PLA is relatively brittle, so I made sure to watch out for potential weak points during the design and try not to skimp out on thicknesses. All of this will be printed with the infill set at 100%. With the design done, I wanted to print a small test piece with the wood PLA. In Prusa Slicer, I use the preset filament profile for Color Fab Wood Fill, 0.15mm layer height, and 100% infill. Nothing left to do but load the filament, which Penny found highly entertaining, and press print. The test piece turned out great. I got no clogging with my stock 0.4mm nozzle, the piece was strong, and the print quality was fantastic. With that encouraging test result, I sliced up the coasters and got to printing. Each coaster took about two and a half hours to print. They were coming out beautifully until the sixth and final coaster. You can see here that the first layer wasn't sticking very well to the printer bed. I stopped the print, cleaned the bed with dish soap, and moved the 3D model so it would print in a fresh area. This improved the adhesion enough to print the last coaster, but as you'll see later on, it wasn't a permanent fix. There was some stringing on the inside of the honeycombs, but it was easy enough to sort of twirl up the strings with an awl and then clean up those inside surfaces with a little sanding drum from my rotary tool. Now that the coasters were all printed, I was ready to move on to the stand. As you might have expected, this print took a bit longer, clocking in at just under 7 hours. But the bed adhesion issues returned right at the beginning. Again, I cleaned the bed and moved the print to a lesser used corner, but the skirt kept coming loose and interfering with the rest of the first layer. At this point, I was getting a little frustrated and didn't want to keep restarting the print. So I paused the print, removed the interfering skirt, and then resumed printing. This was definitely not the best solution, especially since the skirt is printed on the first three layers, 
So for each of the remaining two, I had to pause the print, remove the little bird's nest of skirt that printed in midair, and resume printing. I realize now that I should have just updated the G-code to include a brim, which is a solid flat first layer that improves bed adhesion. I think the bed also needs a bit more aggressive cleaning with acetone, but as I'm currently in quarantine and don't have any acetone on hand, this wasn't really an option. I've never had adhesion issues before, and I have a feeling it's the wood PLA dirtying the bed faster than standard PLA. But after the first layer madness, the rest of the stand printed beautifully. As I mentioned earlier, the fit between the stand and the coasters was a little tight, especially near the bottom, and I've since updated the 3D model to increase the gap between them. But for this first run, I just gave the inside of the rails a light sanding with 220 grit sandpaper. This took off just enough material to let the coasters slide easily into the stand. The wood PLA gives these coasters a really nice natural color tone, and they feel a lot more premium than if they were printed with standard PLA. However, they don't feel quite like real wood, and I think a major reason for that is all of the straight edges and sharp corners in the design. They actually remind me of that sort of high quality plastic you find in Playmobil furniture, but with a bit of extra texture from the 3D printed layers. I'm really excited to experiment more with wood PLA, especially with more organic shapes where I expect this stuff really shines. I'm very happy with this coaster design, and apart from making your drink look extra fancy, they tessellate and are really fun to play with. If you're interested in printing this coaster set yourself, the STL file is available on my website, and you can find a link in the description. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.